everyone, it's Shadow the Rat, and in today's video I want to continue my Meet My Rat series. And this is a series where I basically go over an individual rat's history and personality and so forth. And in today's video I want to focus on my girl Coconut. Now Coconut is such an amazing rat, she's just so sweet and kind and gentle and playful and I seriously cannot say enough about her. She's just an amazing little rat and easily one of my heart rats. And interestingly enough, I actually got her along with her cage mate Peaches and Peaches' daughters Sugar and Spice from the same lady who gave me their other sisters Mocha and S'more. Now Mocha and S'more were rats that I got when they were six weeks old from this lady's oops litter. And later on, she reached out to me on Facebook saying she had to rehome her remaining four female rats. And I offered to foster them for a while with the idea that I would then adopt them out once I had helped to socialize them some. However, once I got them, I honestly fell in love with Coconut. Um, when I got her, her name was Ruby, and the lady actually told me that Coconut, or in this case Ruby, was a very sweet rat and just amazing in general. And she was right. Coconut is just such a sweet and amazing rat. She's so gentle and, like I said, playful. And I know I'm kind of just spouting words about her, but she's just one of the most amazing rats I've had. But anyways, Coconut wasn't related to Peaches or her daughters. Coconut was actually from a local feeder bin, and uh, it's interesting because all my rats from this local feeder bin have had the best temperaments. Not the best health by far, but the best temperaments for sure. And it's really, I don't know, it's really strange, but it's true. And I think Coconut really helped her cage mate Peaches and Peaches' daughters because Coconut is very confident while those girls are not confident at all. And actually that was one of the reasons I decided to keep them instead of just fostering them. Because once I saw Coconut, I knew I had to keep her, and I knew that I couldn't separate the other three girls from Coconut because she was just so confident compared to them that separating them would have been so traumatic on them, and it's just really hard for me to imagine breaking up a group like that when the other rats were so timid and kind of relied on Coconut to come out of their shells. So yeah, I ended up adding all four of them to my group, and I'm very glad that I did, especially in the case of Coconut, because she is just so fun to be around. She loves to chase you around. You can run around and she'll literally chase after your feet and she'll just bound around. She gets so excited to do that. She loves to hand wrestle. Uh, she loves to just sit in your hands as you hold her. She likes to sleep under your blanket. She's just so, so sweet. So yeah, Coconut has been a lot of fun to work with. She's a little bit more scatterbrained when it comes to training. She doesn't have any issues with confidence or such, but she's just very hyperactive when it comes to stuff like that. And unlike Bean, she hasn't really figured out how to focus that on training itself. However, she's gotten a lot better and she is starting to enjoy doing things like fetching different objects and wearing costumes while doing tricks, which is something I like doing now, so I'm glad she doesn't really mind. But yeah, she's gotten a lot better at trick training and she seems to enjoy it more. Uh, she has very bad vision. I think she has the worst vision out of all my rats, but she's definitely started to compensate for that when trick training, so that's kind of cool to see. But yeah, in general, Coconut is just such an amazing rat, and I'm so lucky to have her. Anyways, that's all I have to say about Coconut, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you will join me later for more videos on my rats. Bye!